Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, were you hyped up for the Super Nintendo Classic Edition or the NES Classic Edition when it came out last year? Were you able to get one? Were you not able to get one? Did you even really care? Obviously, we have options. We've all talked about this plenty of times before. But today, I wanted to take a quick look at this Super Nintendo slash Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition image for the Raspberry Pi 3 with an emulation station. So this is a little tiny guy. This is only 2.7 gigs. I think she's pretty neat, especially, you know, if you want to set up a cheap, low-cost gift for somebody who wanted those games and could not get one of those systems. There's, you know, this is going to be on the Pi Zero as well. This version's just on the Pi 3. But, you know, just for educational purposes, this is something you could easily set up. You, you know, this is using Ruckage's Super Nintendo Classic Edition theme, plus a few little extras that I've added on top of that to kind of shine this up. But looking at her, it's just the games from the Nintendo Entertainment System Classic and the Super Nintendo Classic. But there's going to be a few cool little features with this. Obviously expandable. You can always set up your image and add extra games, but this just has those games that were released on those two systems. So we have our all games favorites and last played. Kind of kind of handy, but for an image with barely any games on it, you know, you might not use these. But if you expand it upon, you know, adding more games or systems, then those might come in handy. But with this, like I said, it's only 2.7 gigs, and it'll, it'll fit on a 4 gig card. You know, it won't fit on a 2 gig, obviously. But taking a look at her, like I said, we just have our, our 30 games from the NES and then our 20 games from the Super Nintendo with the newly dropped Star Fox 2 ROM that came from the N SNES Classic Edition. So that's pretty cool. The one thing, you know, I want to show a couple things real quick. Just like I said, just these two systems, but that might be cool for some people. You know, some people might be like, man, I just want an image with those games. That would be dope. You know, this can be thrown in a little four gig card you could have lying around. But the one thing I did with this, so you'll see we have the, the snap, the still snap with the box art and the logo for all the games that are on here. Pretty nifty, but then let's say we go to, uh, let's just sit on Pac-Man for a second. It'll load up the video right after, you know, the image shows for a few seconds. Pretty cool, I think. You know, you could be like, oh, cool, Metroid, yeah, look at that box art. Oh crap, that's what the game plays like, you know, that kind of thing. Mega Man, boom! I thought that was pretty cool. Couple other things, you know, same thing with Super Nintendo. Going in there, you'll have the still image, and then it'll load up the video snap. I think it's pretty nifty. But now let's say you wanted to go into a game. Open up the game, we've got a special launch screen, you know, Super Nintendo Classic Edition, what? I thought that was kind of cool, but hey, maybe I'm a little cheesy, a little nerdy. I don't know, but I thought that was dope. And then we got the bezels. There's a handful of bezels on here that can be changed, but you know, leaving it into the, the core provided aspect ratio and then having a bezel on there, I think it looks pretty nifty. You can always add the scan lines. The Pi curvature is one of the best ones if you like scan lines. Not a lot of people do, and I've shown videos on how you can get that. You know how you can set those or remove them but boom there's that so let's exit out of that game and then the other cool thing if you're on the the main screen where you can select your system you see at the top you know launch or random press select to get your screensaver so if we press select our screensavers are set to videos and the video will tell you what game and what system it's for and then it'll play for a little while and then it'll change to another game if you're just chilling, sitting around watching this, and you're like, oh man, Castlevania. If you hit start, it's just going to automatically load up whatever game was shown on that screensaver. Pretty cool feature, you know, especially if you're just sitting there kind of, hmm, I don't know what to play. And then you let the screensaver go through, and everything's just, you know, you're like, oh man, oh yeah, that game's awesome. Instead of going back and searching for it, just hit start, and you're in the game. So I thought that was pretty nifty, but that that was pretty much it. I just wanted to show, you know, a, a little thing with, you know, 
something you can do. If you're disappointed you couldn't get one of those systems, you know, I got mine, but it's still fun to play with the Raspberry Pi. It's still cool to have the legit systems if you're into that, but some people aren't, and some people don't want to bother spending the $80 for the Super Nintendo Classic, especially when you can pay $35 for a Pi 3 and set up the same thing with more. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Pretty cool stuff, easily expanded upon. So if you appreciate this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. For more info, join the Facebook group. Link is in the description. What? I'll catch you guys next time. Boom!